I always do that where I push the button and then I don't actually like pay attention. Um, okay, so real fast. And, and and this is the second time I've tried to film this. The first time I got to five minutes and the second time, this is it. Next thing, this thing, this computer's going out the window into the alley from the second floor window into the alley. I can't stand these virus companies that insist, insist on installing these obnoxious, stupid, childish virus blockers like, you know, the AVG stuff that says we've detected six threats on your computer and uh, we have snipers in position. Click OK to take out the threat. And you, a grown ass person, is sitting here just like, what? You're a virus thing. Just be a virus thing. What? And you have to click either cancel or eliminate threat. And if you click the eliminate threat because you're a child, it brings you to their website where it's fifty nine ninety nine to pay for their monthly computer scan. I go on YouTube. That's all I do with this computer. There is no reason for me to have stuff like that. It makes no sense to me why they have to make it all super fancy. There's no 70-year-old lady like, yeah, take them out. No, that's not a thing. Anyways, minute and 30, long rant that time. I've got a whole bunch of big knives here, and I haven't really reviewed many big knives. Again, this is my second time recording this, and I got through three of them, so I'm going to do this again. This is my last attempt. Here we go. I'm going to start off with this one. This one's a monster. I acquired this knife in a trade. don't remember exactly what I traded for this knife. Um, still trying to remember. But I ended up getting this knife, and I like it. It's big and bulky and heavy and looks intimidating and almost like Halloween cartoonish. This is plastic. That compass doesn't work. Again, I went over this already. I went over this already. Even though I didn't post the video so nobody got to see me go through it, I don't want to do it again. Next on the list, Blade City, Wartech, fantastic knife. Got this, I believe, in the $16 Knife Club. I'm pretty sure it was a $16 Knife Club. Um, it's a great knife. This is such, such a good knife. In fact, if I saw this on Blade City and, you know, was curious about it, I probably would have maybe added it to the cart maybe not bought it but i maybe added to the cart this thing on the top makes the blade feel so like blade runnery and like you know something you'd see in like a video game this is an awesome knife this wood is really nice this little clip thing i don't know what it does but it's very cool this whole knife is fantastic love this thing Oh, next on the list, I used to work for Union Pacific Railroad as a conductor. I bought this at Cabela's. I have a handful of Cabela's knives. They have a pretty cool selection. One of the best parts about going to Cabela's to get knives is Cabela's is like 20, 15, 8 minutes if you speed. Drive away. Um, and you can actually like pick up the knives and physically hold them and be like, okay, yeah, this one, this one's good. This one I love. It's called the Raider 1. Yes, it's made in the lovely country of Taiwan, um, but it's one of those solid, um, heavy, dense, if you have like a sporting goods store or something, I don't know, look up uh, look up Raider 1 um, boot knife or uh, dagger or whatever in the world this is. I love this knife. This is such a cool knife. Whether you're fighting bobcats or hunting or just hiking. This is a great, great knife. You can stick this in a boot. You can stick this in your, you know, on your back here. Um, or put it in a bag. I love this knife. Another Blade City knife. Um, one of my older Blade City knives. Um, this hatchet that they sent me, like, was a $16 knife club. And I was like, oh my god, Blade City, what are you doing? But these knives are fun. This adds such a crazy, awesome variety to the $16 Knife Club, and that's why I like the $16 Knife Club so much. Because I like getting this in the mail, and then the next month, you get something like this. It's just so awesome. How different is it to get one thing one month and one thing the next month? 
I'm a big fan of that and that's when every time I see this giant monster I think god why did I buy this and I think oh yeah $16 knife club it just showed up at my house and I was like you know what that's fine I like this thing next probably one of the weakest that I have this guy right here Blade City has a lot of these exact style of knife one of these is um, they have that spectrum thing at Blade City and it's awesome I love the spectrum thing this is actually like a, almost like a handguard which would help with sawing or something like that a camping extravaganza but I don't like it there's just something about this that I just don't like it's 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 like overall just look this doesn't look like a knife to where you if you were at like a campsite and someone like said hey you got a blade and you pulled this out I don't think they would think that you were even remotely cool they would just be like oh thanks for the knife you know what I mean like why have a knife if you're not gonna have a cool one and let's be honest Blade City has some awesome knives they also have some bleh this is bleh another one another $16 knife club wait a minute this looks familiar doesn't it well that's because we're out here dual wielding yeah I have um I have two of these I have two of these knives now they're not exactly the same uh, but they're both from this there you go that's how you do that they're both from this same little deer company and if you see I mean they're both like almost identical they are a tiny bit different but they're close enough to where you know you'd feel you'd feel like you know you got almost the same knife however even though I got two of the same almost these are fantastic knives the blade goes all the way through that stainless steel stainless steel these look like kitchen knives like literally kitchen utensils so I figured oh my god this is like a camping kitchen knife awesome fantastic I love them both gotta say I love them both oh and the crazy part is they fit in each other's sheets the ones they came with they both match each other even though the blades are a tiny bit different you guys just saw me review this one you just saw me do this one this like bone edge looking uh, is my first buckshot knife that I've ever gotten in my life. I didn't even know what buckshot was and I didn't know Blade City carried buckshot knives, but they do. And this is a knife that I got from Blade City. This is a gorgeous looking Cabela's knife. The same with the, I don't know what that's made of on the outside, but if it's plastic, they got me fooled because this feels very genuine to me you know like that bone carved material that it is I mean it could be plastic it could be like a weird polymer I have no idea but I love this blade I love this knife it's awesome so definitely makes its way to number three so interesting enough the last knife here that I have you've got your number three loving love this blade city knife you got your number two and it's an awesome Blade City knife. What in the world made number one? Well, actually, a Blade City knife did not make number one in my big knife stuff. In fact, a very, very old um, impulse purchase of mine. This is a uh, United States Marine Corps embroiled um, K-Bar knife. And I bought this a long time ago, like a long time ago. I mean, you can see it's this compared to all my other like blade city stuff that i've gotten in the last few years this thing i bought in uh 2012 or 2011 years ago even before i was in the marine corps back in 2014 i had this knife i had this in my in my barracks room with me when i was active duty it's got usmc carved here in the in the blade it's got you know the nice the nice classic k-bar look to it it's just so cool and as a history buff personally i absolutely love uh military uh artifacts and a k-bar is a very very classic marine corps uh blade in general blade city does have k-bars they're gorgeous k-bars and most 
sports stores you can go to, you will find K-Bars like this. Awesome ones. However, no K-Bar touches this one. I don't even remember where I got this. I'm pretty sure Cabela's holds this, but I don't know who else has it. It's definitely by far the best, and it's like a $100 knife uh, K-Bar that I have ever bought and definitely earns the number one slot of the best big knife that I own. Big fan. I love it. And uh, those are pretty much my big knives as far as that goes. I've got a handful more videos. I'm going to do a wrap up here. A uh, handful more videos on the way. I've got um, a big surprise video on the way as well. I mentioned it in the last upload. Uh, I'm doing a double upload today, so I have a little more content there. Uh, I also have my throwing knife video that I've been pump faking on. Uh, I promise it's coming soon. It's going to be rough. I cannot get any hits from uh, from uh, 15 feet. I'm only getting hits from like mm, 5 to 10 feet. When I get to like 15 to 20 feet, I'm not hitting anything. I did buy a Target from Cabela's, and it's cool. Uh... And I do have a bunch of throwing knives. I have Cabela's throwing knives. I have Amazon Prime throwing knives. I have Blade City throwing knives. I have Swaparama, the flea market that's on the side of the highway throwing knives. I have so many different kinds. I'm going to review all of them. And then I'm going to pause the video, bring the laptop outside, and record the rest of it outside. That's exactly how I plan on doing that video. Uh, that one's coming within a day or so. Either way, thank you for the views. Thank you for watching. I got a ton more videos on the way, uh, but I have stuff to do, and I don't want to be in front of a camera anymore, so peace.